YouTube, on this episode we have DC Multiverse, Bizarro and Batzaro. That's right, we said it. Bizarro and Batzaro. Straight from Amazon. They're here. They're wacky. They're cool. They're oversized. We're going to get into it. As you see, Bizarro is having so much fun. Let's get into it and see what this package is all about. And thank you everyone for watching my channel still. I appreciate you. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get these dudes open. And here they are out of the package. Batzaro and Bizarro. Love them. Love them. And of course they come with your stuff. You know they come with extra hands, which is a great thing. They come with extra hands. They come with trading cards. Gotta love it when they come with trading cards. You know me, I collect the trading cards. So the trading cards will go right into the binder, which we haven't done in a while. We are gonna get back to that. All right, we gonna get back to that. Maybe that'll bring the channel back some fuzz. I don't know. Two years ago was great for the channel. And then bloop, YouTube said, screw you. Your channel sucks, you're gonna stay mid. That's okay, I don't mind mid. I got the good figures. Anyway, let's look at Bizarro. Bizarro, as you can see, once we focus, there you go. Bizarro looks great. I love it. Look at that face. Of course, this is not live action. I don't know if this is from a cartoon, but I know it's definitely from a comic source. It's a comic source. So this was actually an accessory, too. He came with that. So happy because the other Bizarro that we have, which we'll see later, he didn't come with no. He didn't come with that. And Bones from the Nickel Zoo was like one of the first people to make it. So he came with that. I'm not going to go over the articulation because it's the same thing as the Batman. All right, it's the oversized, beefy, chunky bodies. And this color red, I'm not going to be able to put a red, um, custom red cape on it yet. Because I don't have that color red. But, look at that. They put a Superman logo on this dude. Of all people. Of all people. Of all characters, I should say, because he's not a person. Of all characters, they give him the Superman logo. That's good stuff. That is good freaking stuff. All the other Supermans, we got to fight and complain about it. But no, him, he gets it. Oh, I love that sound. We'll do a little bit. How about that? You got your jumble jointed knees. Huh? Legs do the splits. Love it. Love that sound, man. Single jointed elbows. That's okay. He's a beefy mother... Alright. The, uh... Not... I can't say backwards, but... You know. It's not backwards, but... It's whatever you want to call it. S. Reverse. The reverse S. So, there goes Bizarro. He got some extra hands. Let me show you him with the extra hands. Damn, man, that looks cool, man. That head scope is nice. Not even on front. Not gonna front. That head scope looks great. Look at that. Got that Jokerist thing going on. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> and here's my boy out of the package with his boob grabbing hands. I love it. I love it. Because who doesn't put their hands like this when they're about to grab some boobs? Boobies, 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 boobies. Here we are with Batman. Well, Bat Zorro out of the package. Well, he's been out of the package. But here we are with Bat Zorro front and center. With his, th with his thighs cut. His uh, mic holding hands if he was a wrestler. Because he didn't come with open, you know, whatever. These things are like fist, but they're also open, whatever. Yeah, the scope, the sculpted, unsculpted bat logo that everybody was um, pointing out. And you have to point it out because it's there. It's not like you can't see it. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. The sculpt work is there. Unfinished. All you had to do was just do this part over for this guy only. That's all. Am I really complaining about it? No. Whatever. It's like he just like ripped off the emblem and turned it upside down. That's the way I'm going to see it. And let me know how you feel about his head sculpt. Looks familiar. Don't that look like the Batman who laughs? It does to me. He got that Batman who laughs-esque mask going on where you can't see the eyes. He can't. You're wondering how the hell does he see out? But, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Bad Zorro, looking good. I like the belt. The belt looks good. 
Nice. I can't complain about that. That's some good stuff. Thigh cuts, like we said, the only one of the only Batman that has thigh cuts. It's like two Batman that have thigh cuts. We still yet to get anything for them. No, we have the horse. We have the horse. So he can jump on the horse if you want and run amok and act crazy. And you see the double jointed knees. At least he got the double jointed knees. We do have the single jointed elbows, but that's okay. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at that at all. This Batman looks good. You can't tell me he doesn't look good. It's it's cool for what you want. When you want something different in your life. This is that Batman. Like I said, he has the uh, Mike Holton hands. That's the wrestling collector in me. Because you stick a microphone right there. He has Mike Holton hands. Now, let's show you him with the regular fist. Oh yeah, there you go. Getting his Jake Paul or Mike Tyson on. I don't know who you got in that fight. Jake Paul or Mike Tyson. Oh man, look at those nice fists. That's a good look. That's a good look. With Bizarro in the background, you got Bizarro in the far front. This is beautiful stuff. I like it. Let's get into the comparisons. And oh yeah, I forgot. They come with this stupid ass thing. This is the first two pack that didn't come with um, stands. Or maybe a, another one didn't, but this two pack didn't come with stands. They came with this crap that I don't love at all. I, I just don't like it. It's just a waste of space and a waste of um, money that they could have put towards something else. Like extra hands or another head sculpt. I don't know, but not this. Here we go. Got them next to the originals. So these two right here are the ones that we just got from the two pack. This is the original that's reusing that, except for that piece right there. And this one and that, as you can see, the colors are just different. It's the same body, different S's. Same boots, same thighs. It's all good though. I don't, I don't care about reuses. I hate when people complain about reuse. Big deal. That's the name of the game. But as you see, I gave this one a cloth, a cloth cape, and this was actually a platinum or grayer version that I had to paint myself. And here they are standing in between. We got the three Joker's Batman, and we have this uh supposed to be version of um uh, Return of Superman, which I don't care for because that's not. That's that's just inaccurate. He he didn't he didn't come back. He never came back and been that big. Like I don't I don't know. Whatever I don't know. And right here we have them standing in between Caveman Batman, well fighting a frozen Batman, and we have my custom version of an evil Superman that you only seen in the comics, and I do believe maybe one com maybe one cartoon, but it seems like me and um all clowns go to heaven is the only ones who made them. So, no, no, there's one other person who, um, who had the inspiration and made him too and did a great job. Showed me on IG. I'm sorry, I butcher, I'm butchering not knowing your name because I have so many people hit me up on IG. I'm not famous, but a lot of people hit me up on IG and they show me their stuff and they say it was because of, it, because of me and I appreciate that. But yeah, black suit, red, and yellow. Come on. And he's angry. He's pissed off. You gotta do it. And here they are standing in between two Mortal Kombat characters, but... One's a custom, one's original. So we have the original McFarlane Mortal Kombat multiverse katana. And there we are with my custom Killer Frost that I use out of a Catwoman from The Batman and an Anna J figure from AEW Jazzwares figures. And right here we have them standing in between NECA's Robocop. This is a reissue and I had to get on that. And we have the original Ed 209. Yeah, scream for your life, stupid. And right here we have them standing in between, well, I don't know if he was a platinum version. I don't remember, actually, but he might have. But him definitely was a platinum version. This was the platinum version of the Batman, as you can see, all green, translucent, green lantern Batman. And we have the Dark Knight Rises or the Dark Knight whatever Joker, Sonar Vision Joker, translucent. And here they are standing in between two custom WWE action figures, WWE Elite action figures. They are both Finn Balor, my boy, but one is the Human Torch and one is Iceman. 
I told you, when I was doing WWE, I was way too creative. And lastly, here they are between two AW mock figures. We have Swerve Strickland, and we have this dude right here, Ricky Starks, with the FTW title. Good stuff. In closing, all in all, to me, two good figures to add to, to the collection if you like the comic stuff. If you like something wild and wacky, go ahead and pick them up. You got them on Amazon, you got them on the McFarlane store. You can get them at your retailers. Pick them up. If you're a collector, don't worry about what I collect or what other people collect. Don't worry about that other YouTuber who's talking shit about McFarlane. Pick up and buy what you like. I'm going to say it one more time. Pick up and buy what you like. It's not nobody else. Holla at your boy. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. You're right now.